Hello everyone! Time came again for one of those very important events in the global annual oil and gas calendar. It brings with it the tide that determines which way the oil and gas ship sails going forward. Nigeria's package to the 24th World Energy Congress contains projections to deliver four FIDs and address power issues. It also includes promises of commitment to bring prosperity to Nigerians and briefings on the sidelines about how the Declaration and Charter of Cooperation came about. But what these stories bring home to us is the compilation of all the nation's efforts in projects and programs aimed at addressing power issues, solving energy challenges, as well as prospects and prosperity. We have time to explore the greater depth of these issues, plus COMD program of the NNPC Batch 85 have gotten a fresh prescription for how to engage daily official functions from Mala Melekiari. Pragmatism. Thanks for joining us. My name is Akinya Gujuli. This is all on gas forum. Transparency and accountability are indispensable. Uh, you must have that uh, as one of your core principles uh, in order to drive uh, this change. Uh, and I'm glad I know uh, Mele Kiari for a very long time. He's a very capable and very straightforward individual with high level of integrity. What are the top stories all about? Four final investment decisions to be declared by the end of next quarter. Prosperity is coming to Nigerians via an energy solution to an enduring energy challenge. OPEC scribes lot ongoing reforms in the NNPC, even as it briefs silver on declaration of cooperation. Carry charges staff to adopt pragmatism as the road to excellence. LLNG trained seven shareholders signed letter of intent. Details are coming. critical and problematic issue of the losses in products, particularly crude um, oil products. If this trend is not abated, it will therefore mean that by year end this year, we'll have lost over 2.5 billion US dollars. The federal government has revealed plans to deliver final investment decisions, FIDs, on at least four key projects within the nation's oil and gas industry by the end of last quarter this year. Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timmy Pre Silva, who represented the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, disclosed this while speaking at the 24th World Energy Congress, WEC in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. Silva says his vision was to bequeath a vibrant petroleum industry which shall guarantee long-term strategic investments and prosperity for Nigerians. My plan is to ensure that FIDs are taken, at least four FIDs, major FIDs during my tenure. And I'm sure that within the next quarter, we should be able to take a few FIDs. Describing crude oil theft as intractable, Silva said government was looking at practicable solutions to the menace. Minister of State for Petroleum Resources Chief Timmy Pre Silva has declared that the federal government was committed to bringing prosperity to Nigerians through solving the nation's energy challenges. A release by the NNPC Group General Manager Group Public Affairs Division, Undu Wamadu, said Chief Silva made this disclosure on the sidelines of the 24th World Energy Congress, WEC, in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. The minister who described as apt the conference's theme, Energy for Prosperity, maintained that addressing Nigeria's energy needs would go a long way in Nigeria's march towards industrialization. We all realize that we do not have the base load yet, which others can take for granted. So the first issue is to create that base load in a country like Nigeria. Uh, and one of the ways we think we can create that base load is gas. We have enormous gas assets in Nigeria. 
Earlier in his opening address, the president of the 24th WEC and UAE's Minister of Energy and Industry, Swahil al Mazuri, said there was need for global collaboration among energy stakeholders towards addressing the numerous challenges facing the industry. We would like this platform not to be a platform where governments are only talking. We would like this platform to be a platform where solutions are created. The Secretary General of the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, Mohamed Sanusi Barkindo, has commended the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, for its ongoing reforms aimed at changing the fortunes of the corporation for the better. Barkindo made the commendation shortly after inspecting the NNPC pavilion at the 24th World Energy Congress in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. The OPEC scribe said he was glad to see the corporation's management pursue the dreams of its founding fathers despite the challenges of contraction in investment that have affected the global energy industry. Uh, we have seen the industry globally uh, suffered in terms of contraction in investment which affected capacity uh, but you have been able to stay on course uh, and continuing with this project. These projects are, are crucial uh, for the continued development of, uh, of uh, not only the corporation but the industry in Nigeria. Earlier, while briefing the OPEC scribes at the event, the chief operating officer downstream who represented the GMD at the triennial conference, Mr. Aditunji Adeyemi, shed more light on strategic projects of the corporation and also assured Barkindo of the current NMPC leadership's commitment to deliver on their mandate. The idea is to put them back to the Olympic capacity you know, that we started starting with. And then thereafter, we'll also before. Still combined with the Kaduna and Tupacco. Both of us Secretary General of the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, Dr. Mohamed Barkindo has briefed the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timmy Pre Silva, on the diplomatic efforts that led to the creation of Declaration of Cooperation, DOC, and Charter of Cooperation. Dr. Barkindo met Chief Silva at the 24th World Energy Congress, WEC, in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. The Secretary General of OPEC congratulated him on his recent appointment, assuring him of the readiness of OPEC to partner with him in stabilizing global crude oil price. Dr. Bakindo also briefed the minister on the current market conditions and ongoing success of the declaration of cooperation in balancing the oil market. The Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, has commended Nigeria's unwavering commitment to the stability of the global oil markets which spanned many years of its membership of the organization. This commendation came from the chairman of OPEC's 16th Joint Ministerial Monitoring Committee, JMMC, Prince Abdulaziz bin Salman in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. Bin Salman, who doubles as the Saudi Arabian Energy Minister, noted that since the 1980s when Nigeria's late oil minister, Dr. Rilwan Lukman, reigned at the helm of the organization, the West African nation's role has been very pivotal in helping OPEC achieve stability in the oil market. Of Nigeria, he has always provided us ever since the 80s. Now we're talking about being vintage. Uh, and you are Earlier in his remarks, Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timipre Silva, said OPEC's endorsement was a testimony to Mr. President's efforts at ensuring that Nigeria remains a stabilizing force within the organization. At least 50% of our non-compliance in the month of September and to fully comply from the month of October. The drive by the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, to significantly grow oil production has received lawmakers' endorsement as the National Assembly has pledged its commitment to partner the corporation towards boosting the Federation's revenue base. A release in Abuja by NNPC Group General Manager, Group Public Affairs Division, Undu Ohamadu, 
stated that the chairman, House Committee on Petroleum Upstream, Honorable Musa Sarking Ada, made this known while touring the NNPC Pavilion at the 24th World Energy Conference in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. I am glad to meet what uh, I've been introduced as TEP, that's been the co-initiative of the new GMD. With that, I feel encouraged that now we're having somebody with foresight and somebody who wish to move from where it is to what we call in our policy to the next level. Speaking further, the lawmaker noted that for Nigeria to catch up in the technological advancement witnessed in the oil and gas industry, NNPC needed the support of all stakeholders. The group managing director of the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, Mala Melekeri, has said the corporation plans to complete the Abuja to Kaduna to Kano pipeline, AKK, by 2022 to support the industrialization policy of the federal government. Mala Melekeri made this known during an interview with China Television while on an official visit to Beijing, China. How is the financing going for the AKK pipeline? So what might that mean for the industrialization ambitions of Nigeria? You know, the AKK project will deliver uh, about two billion scop of gas, and that's quite significant. And what that will do is to help support at least three power plants with combined capacity of about 3,600 megawatts of power. That's very significant in context of our capacity today. And also the pipeline will enable the takeoff of a number of industries that are moribund because of power issues and of his stock. And it could also bring about the uh, delivery of a number of uh, gas-based industries along the right of way of that, uh, that pipeline. Our plan is to deliver this project by end of 2022. From the World Energy Congress and what factors do you expect crude prices to swing on going into 2020? One is the, the supply and demand balance is not certain anymore. Uh, you're not sure when the not next product, not is certain. We don't know when the production, when the next production is going to come, who is going to do it, and who is not going to fail to produce. And of course, there are a number of other political, uh, geopolitical issues that are so difficult to determine. Totally, the demand itself, you know, because uh, of the slowdown in growth in many uh, supposedly uh, locations where you will expect growth, and then also growth in places where you expect decline. So those balances are uh, kind of... Uh, you think they're even out? Yeah, they can be even out. And then, and then, of course, there's some slowdown in the investment into the farmland in the, in the U.S. Uh, shelf area. And that kind of, uh, to me, is almost like uh, anybody's prediction. You know, at the end, I see a situation where you have a null situation. And then uh, the implication is you're going to have to see the current price regime and the market situation to be sustained for at least another 12 calendar months. In his bid to speedily transform the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, into a global company of excellence, the corporation's group managing director, Mala Melekeri, has tasked staff to deploy pragmatic solutions to their daily official functions to make the national oil company result-oriented. Mala Melekeri gave this charge at the graduation and sent forth ceremony of Batch 85 of the corporation's Chief Officers Management Development Program, COMDP, in Abuja. At this point in our journey to excellence, that to become pragmatic. Yes. Uh, we have tough road to follow. We need very tough leaders and achieve the progression and support of all of us to, to excel to, and take this company to the next level. Earlier in her remarks, the group general manager group Human Resources, Mrs. Ladipo Oyeyemi, represented by Mr. John Ogbe, felicitated with the graduates and urged them to use the knowledge they have acquired for the betterment of the corporation. The essence of this program will be seen in your input to the job. Because President Joseph Onokoya pledged the support of his fellow graduates to the management, noting that they have been fully backed to support the management to realize its target to the nations and Nigerians. Let me express our enormous gratitude to all our principals led by our able GMD, Madam Mele Kodo Kiari. Some of the graduates have this to say. We'll be here and everything we do has been a teamwork. 
And I think that is what NAPC really, really want to achieve. And some of us thought that we know a lot of things from our previous SBU. By the time we got here, we found out that we have to start all over again. Yeah, you have to demonstrate personal effectiveness. You have to demonstrate professionalism. You have to have commercial mindset. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation and NPC and its partners have taken a critical step towards meeting the October date fixed for taking the final investment decision FID on the train seven of the Nigerian liquefied natural gas NLNG by signing the letter of intent LOI for the project. The signing of the LOI which took place in Abuja signifies the endorsement of a legally binding interim agreement outlining the main points of the train seven project by the shareholders which is mandatory before taking the FID. Speaking at the event, Group Managing Director of the NNPC, Mala Mele Kari, was represented by the corporation's general manager, new LNG engineer, Ahmed Diko, said the management of NNPC was very passionate about the project because it held the potential of boosting activities in the oil and gas sector and ultimately stimulating growth in the nation's economy. It is not yet FID per se, but it's a very big enabler that will make us as shareholders to work together and company as well to close out all the little outstanding issues that will get the project ready for that big FID date. Earlier, the managing director of NLNG, Engineer Tony Atta, said the Train 7 project was expected to increase the NLNG production capacity by 35%. We have received absolute support from NMPC, our uh, senior shareholders, from Shell, from Total, and from ENI. And I can assure you that with the support of our shareholders and the board of directors, and of course Mr. President himself and the Minister of State for Petroleum, we have real confidence that by the 31st of October, we will take this final investment decision to make Train 7 a true reality for Nigeria. In his remarks, Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timmy Prey Silva, was represented by the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, Dr. Folasha de Yemiesan, said the journey to the signing of the Letter of Intent, LOI, of the Train 7 project was a very long and tortuous one, which has finally come to reality. On behalf of the Chairman and on behalf of the Minister and Minister of State, I'd also like to commend the hard work the MD and the DD have done to get us all to this point. On his part, the Executive Secretary of the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board, Engineer Simbi Wabote, urged the EPC contractor to abide by the local content requirements of the project. NCDMB has been able to push the boundaries for us to achieve our target of 70% local content by the year 2027. The Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, has stated that the global gross domestic product, GDP, was revised down to 3.0% for 2019 and 3.1% for 2020, compared to the previous forecast of 3.1% and 3.2% respectively in last month's report. This was contained in the OPEC Monthly Oil Market Report, MOMR, for the month of September. World oil demand in 2019 is expected to grow by 1.02 million barrels per day, which is 0.08 million barrels per day lower than last month's projection. The drop can be attributed to weaker-than-expected data in the first half of 2019 from various global demand centers in slow economic growth projections for the remaining part of the year. The Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, has restored petroleum product supply at the Ibadan Depot 48 hours after a fire incident. A press release by the Group General Manager, Group Public Affairs Division, Undu Uhamadu, quoted the Group Managing Director, Mala Mele Kari, as saying that speedy restoration of loading was as a result of remarkable team effort. He stated that the swift restoration signified NNPC Group's commitment to excellence and demonstration of efficiency. Thanks for joining us on the feedback segment of the program. My name is Julia Auta. 
The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, is a national oil giant with 16 subsidiaries under its watch. On today's edition, our roving camera is asking Nigerians on the number of those subsidiaries they can easily mention. I can remember NPDC, NAPIMS, Net, uh, NETCO, IDSL in Benin. That's, that's all I can remember. I think I know too, which is retail and NMPDC. The one in Worry, Benin City, the one in Lagos, and all that. So all those ones, especially in Niger Delta areas, that is where they are located and more or less they are doing their jobs. Of them, they, I think they have an NPC retail. Um, I think that manages um, filling stations and other, uh, and I, I think they have a logistics arm as well. I'm not sure about that. But I know the NFC has a lot of subsidiaries. Uh, that's the only one I'm sure of. PPMC? I think they are, they are the ones I can, I can be able to tell you for now. I can only remember MPDC, Netco, and NNPC Retail. From the responses, you will agree that the NNPC is indeed a national oil giant that is adding a lot of value to the nation's hydrocarbon resources. That's the much time will permit us on this segment. Please stick around for the other segments of the program. Hello and thank you for joining us on this informative segment of the program. My name is Abigail Ojobo. Did you know that the NMPC Retail Limited was established in August 2002? The NMPC Retail Limited is the nation's strategic petroleum product outlet that ensures premium quality petroleum products get to every Nigerian at best price. Did you also know that NMPC Retail Limited collaborates with individuals and companies in the areas of station leases and affiliations. Similarly, the NMPC Retail Limited outlets are owned by Nigerians. Did you know that the NMPC Retail Limited has over 500 affiliate stations nationwide and provides services in all nooks and crannies of Nigeria? Did you also know that the NMPC Retail Limited has a mega station in each of the 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory? Now you know. Please stay tuned for the rest of the program. Hello and welcome to Global Crude Oil Outlook. Oil prices rose, recouping some of the heavy losses in the previous session, supported by easing trade tensions between Washington and Beijing and the drop in U.S. crude stockpiles to the lowest in nearly a year. Brent crude futures rose 45 cents or 0.7 percent to $61.26 per barrel, while U.S. West Texas Intermediate WTI futures gained 50 cents or 0.9 percent to $56.25 per barrel. The rise came after China moved to exempt some U.S. anti-cancer drugs and other goods from tariffs, while President Donald Trump announced a delay to scheduled tariff hikes on billions of dollars worth of Chinese goods. Boosting the market's good mood, the U.S. Energy Information Administration EIA said that U.S. crude oil stockpiles fell last week to the lowest in nearly a year as refineries raised output and imports fell. Crude inventories fell for a fourth straight week, decreasing to 6.9 million barrels in the week to September 6, more than double analyst expectations of a 2.7 million barrel drawdown. And that's it on this segment of the program. I am Owigo Okolo. Well, for those out there, you can always make it on stage, you can always win. Just work hard, focus and everything will come your way. That's been the program for this week. Thanks for joining us. Plenty of takeaways to savor on behalf of NNPC and the oil and gas crew. Have yourself a jolly good week ahead. Keep the date next week.